Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Cadelco, and I'm a member of the Adult Pulmonary Hypertension Service at Stanford University. Exercise has not always been endorsed in patients with pulmonary hypertension. It's in fact been considered dangerous for many years because patients with pulmonary hypertension can experience sudden shortness of breath, chest palpitations, chest discomfort, and even fainting, which is considered in our field a medical emergency. Normally, during exercise, the heart increases the amount of blood flow that's delivered to the lungs, and the lungs increase the amount of oxygen that is then delivered to exercising skeletal muscles. In a patient with pulmonary hypertension who has diseased lung vessels, they are unable to accommodate this amount of blood flow, and therefore, their ability to increase oxygenation to exercising hardworking muscles is impaired. Patients feel short of breath at earlier time points. They feel chest palpitations, sometimes chest discomfort, and this can be dangerous in an unmonitored setting. Less blood flow to exercising muscles can certainly lead to a wasting away of those muscles over time. And this, of course, starts the vicious cycle of more fatigue at earlier time points. In order to break the cycle, we as physicians are actually recommending more and more that patients with pulmonary hypertension exercise. Recent data have supported this by demonstrating that patients who participate in a 15-week intensive, although monitored, exercise program actually increase their six-minute walk distances at the end on the order of 96 meters. Just to compare, some of the FDA-approved agents that we use in pulmonary hypertension only demonstrate a 30 to 40 meter increase in six-minute walk distance. You can start exercising if you're a patient with pulmonary hypertension under the guidance of your physician and preferably a care team at a local cardiopulmonary rehab center. Every patient with pulmonary hypertension is different. Some patients require pumps that provide challenges to exercise specialists. Some patients have joint abnormalities which prevent them from exercising to full capacity. So it's really up to the physician and the exercise specialist care team in order to come up with an exercise prescription for each individual patient. I think the take home message is for you to be open to the idea of exercise as suggested by your physician. Exercise in pulmonary hypertension is proving to be more and more an important adjunct therapy in fighting this disease.